Hello and welcome to another, excuse me, Daily Digest. I am Ross Miriam. Today I'm playing a bit of Modern. I'm playing the new kit on the block, and that is Faithless Looting Hollow 1 Vengevine. First has Death Shadow alongside an Unfair Route to Victory and Gore's Vengeance and Gristlebrand. So I think it's a cool secondary plan. Why I'm playing the deck, I want to see how that plays out. Um, this is a very risky hand that could pan out really well if I find a land in the top two cards. Uh, but it has to be a red source. I only have like 16 of those. Um, how likely am I to hit that? Like a, maybe a coin flip at best. So I think this is a mulligan. Okay, this is a fine hand. Hopefully we can find a gristle brand to return with Gorda's Vengeance. We got plenty of ways to find it. Otherwise we're just playing an early Death Shadow. But we're a little short of playing it. We can only get to exactly 13. But still keep. Um, I want another Faithless Looting, yes. That'll just help me set up. Oh, I was on the play. Well, I thought I was on the draw. So go me. I'll just be on the draw. That's fine. It'll be okay. Turn one Arbor Elf, that's fine. Everything's okay. Nothing to see here. It's all fine. We're, we're going to win anyway. It'll be okay. Yes, I would like to pay two life. Uh, I'm not going to cycle Street Wraith first in case I want to play some hollow ones next turn. And there is a hollow one. Maybe I want to play that this turn. Hmm. I think my plan is to discard a looting and a vengeance, and next turn play. Try to. Pull, I guess I can't play Death Shadow next turn. I'm just going to try to set up for next turn with potential Avenge Vines and give up on the uh, on the other plan, the Gorgor's Vengeance plan. Probably about to get stone rained. Yep. Not the matchup where you want to accidentally click the return. Oh, Blood Moon. Um, well, that is awkward too because it my, makes my Death Shadow uncastable. And the Gurmag Angler uncastable. And I haven't really hit anything good. I should have kept those fetch lands. I'm going to just shock myself for no reason now. Okay, so aggressively get the basic swamp. They're a blood moon deck. I do have some faithless lootings in my graveyard to flash back. But overall not in good shape. Not entirely unhappy to see this as my opponent's turn, but they're probably just setting up for some giant thing next turn. They really only need one giant thing, especially because I just drew another uncastable. Shock myself for no reason. Uh, well, we found the swamp. Um, I'm not going to be able to double cast any of these anyway. And which one do I want? Let's say they play a Inferno, an Inferno Titan. I think I'm going to need the, the Death Shadow. So let's discard this Angler. And hopefully I can draw a Insolent Neonate. Return this Vengevine. Maybe I did want to actually shock myself earlier and keep all those shocks. I might have accidentally played this right because of the Death Shadow. This is a weird game. If you drew a Winsome Teeth, which I like, I have eight mana. Acidic Slime. <laughs> Gets to blow up Hollow One. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll give him that. 
Um, okay. Well, six slime. Ooh, there is a neonate. Um, I don't really want to discard this Thoughtseize, though. Is there a merit to trying to get back as many Venge Mines as possible by Thoughtseizing the last card in their hand? And flashing back a Faithless Suiting this turn? The thing is, if their last card, if they draw an LD spell, then I'm just screwed. But just a Venge Mine and a Death Shadow, I don't think is really good enough. Or is it? Um, hmm. Tough to say. I do want to win the game quickly. If I go the slower route in terms of getting creatures into play, I get to see three more cards that can potentially be Venge Vines. I don't think that's enough for me to want to go for that. So I'm just going to bring back the Venge Vine now. I, don't, I guess I don't actually have to use it yet. That's right. Yeah. What am I even thinking? So I don't have to get rid of this Thoughtseize. This is now a 2-2. Bring back this Venge Vine. Yes. Yeah, so I can just hold the Thoughtseize in my hand for now. Although it's probably not going to be very good. It's only good if they have two really good cards in their hand right now, which is not good for me. Probably not winning in that situation anyway. One Wooly Acid Moss. Yep. Well, now this thought these wants to go away, but they'll probably get looted away with Faithless Looting instead. And I can do something with this Neonate. Probably don't want to attack. Didn't think so. Sad face. Oh, uh, let's cast this. Discard this one. Discard this one. Still can't cast this hollow one. I guess I okay. I can with the neonate. So let's attack with the with everything. No, I don't want to trade Death Shadow for two Arbor Elves. So. Interesting that they jump. Well. I don't care about the order. I'm going to sack this anyway. Discard this. Um, birds dies, and I will cast this. Sort of up against it at this point. Not sure what else we are going to be able to muster. We don't have a lot of relevant cards left in our deck. But our opponent is drawing nothing but LD. Yeah, I definitely wish I'd shocked myself one more time. This Death Shadow being a 4 4 would be a lot more useful. Flashback. Ugh. I'm going to have to wait on this Cathartic Reunion. Once again, don't want to trade Death Shadow for two one ones, but I assume the slime is going to jump in the way of something here. Oh wow, that chump lock I like a lot. It sort of frees up my Death Shadow. So on to you, making it. Oh, that'll do it, folks. <laughs> So I'll just cast it for seven, attack me for two. That'll do it. We were a couple more bricks and we could have won this game, but that is too many.
Oh, wow. Okay, I still get a Death Shadow. I'm surprised they didn't cast it for more. They could have cast it for eight. And they only cast it for four. So, I mean, this would be a 10-10, but I'd be at three. Well, I'm... I'm... <laughs> Okay. I think I need to hold on to that Neonate to potentially get this Vengevine back. Do I attack for 6 and trade it with the Acidic Slime? Probably not. That just lets them attack with Arbor Elf. Whereas this turn, they'll probably attack with... They can't really attack. Okay. Yeah, I guess the, the, the Death Shadow Surviving Bonfire was not a thing I expected to see. But if they just not jumped away the Arbor Elf, they would be in much better shape. Might still be in it. That one's not good. Uh, still going to pass. Going to Cathartic Reunion next turn. And hopefully find like a hollow one to bring back Vengevine. So I draw Vengevine for turn. Cathartic Reunion into the two remaining hollow ones. Have them brick again. Brick, please. This doesn't look like a brick. That's an Inferno Titan. So I'm now dead next turn. Yep. Just deal me three. Hmm. So close in this game. So close. Hmm. I can still draw something to be in it, I think. That is not it. Discard these two. And Street Wraith is definitely not it. I can't really cycle Street Wraith. So I guess I have to neonate into a hollow one. Nope. I am dead. Well, lesson learned. Clicking through your attack step, or clicking through your first turn is bad. You shouldn't do it. I like Big Game Hunter, answering big creatures. I like Collective Brutality, kind of, but I think Thoughtseize is just better. Maybe I'm just supposed to bring in Brutality and cut this Graveyard Hate Package, or Graveyard Combo Package. They're definitely going to bring in Graveyard Hate, and I would like to have answers for their things. The issue is just like them having Blood Moon and me not being able to cast my spells. I'm also at a 58 cards, and I don't really like any of these once I've cut this package entirely. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in Pyroclasm to deal with their mana creatures. Yeah, ah, it doesn't seem like the worst plan. If you can attack their mana, then you should be in good shape against them. But being on the play will certainly help. And maybe this time I'll actually be on the play, instead of fake being on the play. Because I'm a moron. Okay, I would like to play first. And... Ugh, this is all interaction. And once again, I have this awkward not two fetches, so I can't Death Shadow on turn two. I also can't find the basic swamp. But I do have good interaction. Maybe I'm supposed to keep this. It just seems so weak. If I had both fat two fetches so I could Death Shadow on turn two, I think I would keep. But as is, I'm like going turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Brutality, turn three, like play a Death Shadow, hopefully. 
And then I have these like weird interactive cards that I don't really want. I'm just going to mulligan. This hand I like a lot more. I'm going to keep this one. Our opponent mulligan to six, so that's nice. A thought sees. That is also pretty good. Um, so, do I want that? Hmm. My plan is just turn one Neonate, turn two Cathartic, I think. Do I want the Thoughtseize to potentially... I could potentially Thoughtseize turn one to maybe take a, a turn two Blood Moon away, and then Cathartic on two, and then have the Neonate to bring back Vengevine. That's probably better. So I'll top this and just Thoughtseize on one. Drawing this Overgrown Tomb I don't like means they can cut me off of red mana. If they have a Stone Rain on turn two. But they have Scry to the bottom, so that's good. I will do something on my turn. See? See? Doing things. And Pot sees you. Oh. Yes, I would like to pay two life. See what their six is. Arbor Elf, Blood Moon, Inferno Titan, Acid Moss. I'm tempted to take the Arbor Elf. I think I'm supposed to take the Arbor Elf. I just need to slow down so much. Could get punished if they draw a mana card off the top, because then they get to Blood Moon on two. But Blood Moon on two is not the end of the world. Okay, let's go for it. One time, no mana creature. Yes, we did it. Successfully did it. Actually, now I get to get the get to get the basic swamp. And Cathartic Reunion, discard Vengevine, and go for a tomb. That was excellent. Um, do I Street Wraith here and potentially hit Hollow One? No, I'd rather hit Hollow One next turn. Now I'm going to Neonate, discard the Vengevine, cycle Street Wraith, play Death Shadow, return two Vengevines, and their Blood Moon should be. Much too slow. That was very good cathartic. And play this one. And sacrifice it. Discard this one. And cycle this one. Uh, now I can actually just play Angler instead of Death Shadow. Alright, one, two, three. Four. Yeah, now I'll just play Angler. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And this is what this deck does. That's why you mulligan that seven card hand. Looks like a reasonable hand to keep, but you mulligan so you can do this to people. This is a lot more fun. You don't think this deck plays that maybe if they angered me here. That was a, definitely a reason to play the Gurmag Angler, by the way. But I doubt that deck has anger in its board with all the mana creatures it has. So, the classic turn threes. Um, yeah. Submit. Well, I kind of like, for this matchup, like Bolt or Gutshot. There are a lot of mana creature decks floating around, a lot of Coco decks. Gutshot might be good right now in Modern. I wouldn't mind having a gut shot. Instead of these pyroclasms, these mopey, dopey pyroclasms, there's a gut shot here, Arbor Elf, Cycle Street Wraith, Cycle Street Wraith again, Crack Fetch, Take Shock, Play Death Shadow. Pretty solid hand. Um, there's a question of whether or not I will Thought Seize on turn one. Or looting, and I think I just want a thought seize. I guess it depends what they do. 
They've kept seven. If they play a mana creature, I'm so likely to get stone rained if I looting. But I think I'd rather just thought seize. Cause then I can like looting, neonate, get some vengeance in the yard, and play a hollow one. After taking away either Blood Moon or Stone Rain. Um I'm going to find a Blood Crypt here. This leaves me the option of paying life for this if they do land a Blood Moon. And of course they have both. They do have Anger, wow. Um, I'm inclined to take the Stone Rain because I have Basic Swamp in my hand. Then again... I do have plenty of lands, and if this gets the swamp gets killed, the blood moon is just too devastating. Oh God, they have a really good hand right now against this. Like they get to Chandra, and they can defend the Chandra for a turn. Their anger sweeping me. This bird doesn't matter much, but I'll take the blood moon. Yeah, this could be a tough game. I think I need to find like a second Venge Vine so I can kill this Chandra. Oh god. Even worse. They ripped a relic. Okay then. Well. Hmm. What do I do? I have to hope they tap out on a given turn. I think I am going to just cast this looting. I might not discard the Venge Vine. Wow. Um. Jeez. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to be casting Venge Vine this game? That could be it. That could be the ticket. In which case, I want to discard a fetch land and this blood crypt. Yeah. Discard this one, please. And I guess I'll get a neonate to play. A lot of lands. Oh, this might be bad. They can just kill my one of my green sources now with their stone rain. If they do tap out though, I have a chance of getting this Venge Vine into play. But then they have an anger. This is all sorts of awkward. All sorts of it. My hope is that they're just light on lands a lot, or for a while, long enough for me to assemble something. Could also make them less prone to angering here. Oh, well, they found a land. And I found another land. I have another Blood Crypt in my deck. Their hand is Anger Chandra. Well, my hope is that they just tap out for a Chandra and I get to kill it. So I'm not going to play the second Neonate. Exile that one. Oh, we could be doing it. We could be doing it indeed. Okay, Exile of Kitchen Finks. Hopefully they didn't draw another land. Okay, we got a shot. A shot at what amounts to very little still. Oh god, another land! You kill me, deck. Um, so I need to hit a castable creature off of this card, or I am very dead.
Wow. Come on. How is this even possible? I've drawn so many bad cards. Um, that leaves me with some hope, actually. That was a good one. I can hit a hollow one. Aho, this cathartic reunion. Hollow one, please. Hope springs eternal. Hollow one. Oh, God. Oh, didn't do it. Very dead. Well, yeah, definitely just dead to the Chandra now. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. If we'd hit the hollow one there, even at three life, um, even at three life, our opponent angers and then brings us to one and we still have the hollow one and their blocker is out of the way. And if they draw another blocker afterwards, then I have the... the the collective brutality to clear it out of the way. I would have been at a very low life total, but they would have had basically nothing. So, might have had a shot if we'd hit that hollow one. I think I gave myself the best shot I could and just didn't hit. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching it anyway. You can come back and see me on Wednesday. Bye.